Hey guys, I'm Max Grubb. I'm a wedding photographer here in Northwest Arkansas. My business is Max Grubb Weddings, um, and I'm going to show you guys my bag today. So uh, first of all, I have the ProTactic 450 um, active bag. Uh, I love it. It's gotten me through uh, probably eight years of traveling all over uh, doing weddings. So um, let's dig in and check it out. All right, so first of all, uh, I've got a GFX 100 in here. Uh, this is the original version of it. Um, love the camera, great for portraits, great for um, high detail stuff that I wanna do just because of it being 100 megapixels in a medium format. Um, I've got that in there with a 63 millimeter. Uh, so they're you know, 50 millimeter equivalent, uh, f2.8, love this lens. Uh, it's the only one that I have for that Fuji GFX. Um, I've also got three of the Godox 8100 Pros. Love these little things. They're lithium ion batteries, rechargeable. Um, being the size of a Coke can, I can carry a full lighting kit for a wedding day in my bag. Um, so I've got three of those in there. I won't unpack all of that for you guys. Um, I've got a 40 millimeter F2 for Nikon. Um, don't really use this a ton. Uh, however, I keep it in here just in case. A little run and gun uh, lens if I need it. I've also got the Flashpoint lens. Um, it is the XR2, love this lens. It's got the little uh, diffusion on top. Um, again, lithium ion batteries. The batteries transfer between the Godox and this really easily. So uh, if I ever need more batteries, I've got multiple in the, in the bag. Um, use this on camera for receptions for indoor if I need it, mostly just receptions though. I've also got a Sigma Art. One, uh, the 35, the 1.4, uh, with the Nikon FTZ2 adapter on it. Uh, this lens is becoming more and more a staple for me. Um, probably needing to upgrade it. It's a pretty old lens, but I'm really loving the 35 focal length these days. Um, I've also got, let's jump over here. I've got the 20 millimeter from Nikon, the S lens, it's a 1.8. It's great for receptions, great for indoors. If you've got an indoor ceremony space, uh, getting all of the bridesmaids, groomsmen and all that up front, this lens works really well from the back. I've also got a Sigma 105. Um, this lens gets carried around, uh, less so these days does it get used. Um, I use it a little bit for macro, but between the GFX uh, and my other Nikon uh, Z9, between those megapixels, I, I rarely use a macro lens um, just because I can zoom in with my 50s um, in, in post and crop it. But I have this in here in case of emergencies. Um, and then I've got the 50 millimeter, the S lens, the 51.2 from Nikon. Absolutely love this lens. This, uh, this and the next lens pretty much stay on my camera at all times. Um, I also have on the front, I usually have a filter from uh, Polar Pro, which I'll show you guys here in a minute. But love this lens. It gets the job done on pretty much every wedding day. Um, let's jump in. I've also got the Nikon Z9. It's packed in here. I've got the Nikon Z9. This is my workhorse these days. Love it. The autofocus is really what made me gravitate away from Fuji to the Nikon. Um, the, the zero blackout shutter is also really nice. I never miss a moment. I always see the action that's going on. Um, this camera is, uh, yeah, like I said, my, my main shooter. So I have this in here uh, along with the GFX 100. And uh, yeah, this camera is amazing. You cannot speak more highly of the Nikon Z9. Um, and then let's jump over to uh, my cards and my card situation. So I've got a card case here. Um, this carries all my memory cards. I have a lot more than this, but they're in the middle of backup. So um, I've got SDs for the Fuji GFX 100, and then I've got the CF Express Type B for the Nikon. Um, I shoot dual card on both cameras throughout a wedding day. Uh, so when the cards are done, one card goes in here, and then I have one card uh, that goes in here, which is the Polar Pro Slate card carrier. Love this thing. It's waterproof, shockproof, um, but it's got slots for everything that I need on here. Uh, and so this is my... This is my safety backup. All my backup cards go in here. This goes into my office and into my safe when I get home just until the wedding is backed up and delivered. Um, and then I've got one more lens in here. Uh, and this is probably my favorite lens that I have bought recently. It's the Plina Nikon 135 1.8, the S lens. This thing is beautiful and 
I have way too much fun with it. Um, on the front of it, I've got the Polar Pro um, circular polarizer, uh, and then I also have the Pro Mist that I'll throw on top in front of that every once in a while. Now this filter jumps between the 50 and the 135. Um, what Nikon has done that's really cool is the filter fronts for their S line are all very similar. So the 50, the 135, and the 85 are all the 82 millimeter front. So everything is transferable, your lens caps, your filters, and your lens hoods. I think that's it, guys. Um, ah, that's a lie. I've also got batteries, but um, in here I've got spare batteries. I've got some for the GFX, as well as for the Z9. Um, those sit up there. Throughout the wedding day, the GFX probably uses the most battery, um, but the Z9, just because of the style battery it is, I go through about one and a quarter of battery. It's great, love it, don't have to really worry too much about it. I've also got down in here loop headphones. These are amazing if you're in receptions, you have DJs playing music loud, you've got loud music, so between concerts, weddings, all that, I carry these with me. It drops the decibel down to about um, 21 decibels lower than what you're actually hearing. You can still hear people talking to you, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, I use this at reception. It's a staple in my bag. And then in this pocket, I've also got Polar Pro filters. Um, so I've got the 82 millimeter in both the Mist and the Gold Morphic. The Gold Morphic is a little bit more of like a niche um, opportunity. It kind of makes it look like an anamorphic lens flare anytime you get sunset in it or um, if you get, you know, reception lights, if you want them to like start to streak kind of like a, a anamorphic lens would that creates that but it only does uh, like a gold flare and then the mist pro mist it just softens everything up allows your highlights to bloom a little bit pretty fun when you're indoors uh, i also have circular polarizers for uh, both those lenses the 20 millimeter and the 50 millimeter and the 135 so um, guys that's my bag i love it pro tactic has gotten me all over the world i love the bag love the camera setups i uh, can't can't speak highly enough of all of it Guys, so I love this bag. Uh, it does sit at around 30 pounds. Uh, that's one thing that I love about the Pro Tactic. I can fit all my gear in it for a wedding day. So when I show up to a wedding, I'm not having to run back and forth to my car. I'm not having to figure out what I'm missing because the bag didn't carry what I needed. So I carry the Pro Tactic, absolutely love it. It's 30 pounds with what is in it that you guys just saw. Um, love it, it's great for a wedding day. Highly recommend it.